lots of important things to talk about today, and you probably know what I mean by that, but for now, let's go fishing! So I'm gonna hotkey the old rod since I don't have the bike yet. Oh, can't fish here. I can do it here, and as I said, in this generation, the fishing system is really, really different from the other generations. Come on, work with me here, I just want a tentacle, or hell, anything, even a magic harp will do. I can just kill it and move on. Come on, please. Oh, God, oh Jesus Christ, come on, give me a fish, anything, oh, yeah, there we go. And we've got a magic harp, well, I'll just kill it and move on. So anyway, the system, well, you saw it was really different. You saw those little dots appear, and either it says uh, there's a bite or there's not. Now, in any other generation, uh, if there's a bite, you get a random battle. End of story. But here, it's an annoying little mini game. Just look at it. Yep, I had to press the button just as it says, oh, a bite. And if you press the button, at the, at the right time and you don't have much room for error. If you press the button at the right time then you either be thrust into a random battle or if you're using the good or super rod you're gonna have to do the same thing over and over and over again because the higher the rod the harder it is to pull something out of the water uh, according to this little mini game anyway and it's really annoying. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Can I have a tentacle, please? There we go, a tentacle at level 8. So what I'm gonna do is that I am going to switch that tentacle out. No, my, my route's out. I'm not gonna switch the tentacle out. I am going to send out Combuskin to try and weaken it with Ember. Oh, Supersonic misses, thank you very much. And let's see if I kill it or not. Whoa! still got half of its health remaining. Now I'm not gonna try another ember, because it might kill it. I'm going to try and catch it right now. So we're gonna use that fancy little premiere ball. Anyway, come on. One, two, three. Yeah! With one ball once again. Okay, why once again? It took me two to catch Ralph. But anyway, I finally got my HM Slave, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it cut. And then I'm going to move on to one of my favorite parts of the game. Because you see, in Duford, everyone's going gaga over some random saying that's made up of two words that come from that bank of words that I used to make all those wonderful profiles in the last video. And so, oh Jesus Christ, come on! I really, really wanted to be done with this after finishing Crystal, but it looks like it's back for another round with a vengeance. So, yeah, the thing, oh, natural ball, yeah. This could be a double entendre for something else, but really, we're going to transform it into something a little more explicit. But first, we're just gonna check out what he says if I agree with him, but if you don't agree with him, then you have the choice to change the saying uh, to something more to your liking. So, what we're going to do is that we are going to give the entire town of Duford uh, a hentai fetish. So to do that, we're going to write in adult anime. Adult anime. And everyone's going to repeat adult anime over and over and over. <laughs> that reaction is quite interesting, but it doesn't beat what I'm going to show you in that house uh, on the, at the top of the screen. Everyone's going to be talking about adult anime and how hentai is so friggin' awesome. Yep, the Duford Hall, this is where you want to go if you want to hear about hentai. <laughs> I can't imagine what life would be like without adult anime. Oh jeez. There's a deep link between adult anime and digital? Well, yeah, you can find adult anime on the internet, so... Welcome to the digital age, boy! And this little... Oh, this little girl's into hentai, too? Oh, just great! I'm teaching my Pokemon about adult anime, but it's not going well. Well, first you gotta put them in a daycare center. You might want to try that first. This whole business about adult anime, is there, isn't there a TV show on it? 
Well, um, probably in Japan, since this place is based on Japan. Oh dear God, I collect adult anime. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, and th and this guy's a little kid! Oh, wow! Wouldn't you agree that adult anime has grown from being something trendy to being a part of our daily lives? <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable! Uh, whether you're awake or asleep, whoa! You're the adult anime professor! The adult anime professor! That's not exactly the kind of title I'd want bestowed upon myself, because it means that uh, you waste your entire pay on AA batteries to power your best idea of a Saturday night date. So, this guy is going to give me the silk scarf, and had I known he would have given it to me, I would have kept scratch on the... Uh, on my combustion, though it's just a minor detail, because it's not like I was gonna use Scratch or Peck anyway. So that's the last house in uh, Duford, so see you on Route 116! Yep, this is Route 116, and uh, yeah, there was this one part that I couldn't access without Cut, but since I've got a tentacle with Cut now, I can go there now, and there are a few other areas that are uh, opened up now that I have cut, and I'm going to show them to you right now. So this guy gives you the rundown on everything I've said before, with the whismers and everything like that, and that why uh, they are not digging the tunnel anymore, but that's not what you want to hear, right? You want to hear about the latest rumors, right? 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 Well, this was my next subject on the agenda, so here's the deal. And keep in mind, this is official. This isn't like Giancarlo Gate, where someone made a Twitter account. It comes from the official site, and apparently the big deal is that Game Freak is going to be making a brand new game. An RPG on top of that, that's going to come out later this year, and it's going to feature brand new Pokémon. Now, this can mean two things. Either it's going to be a spin-off that falls under the RPG genre, that is going to have cameos of Generation 5 Pokémon, much like Mystery Dungeon 1 was in terms of the transition between Generations 3 and 4. Or, it's Generation 5. Simple as that. And by the way, this is going to be on the DS. So the timing, if this is Generation 5, is weird, and that is for two reasons. The first reason is because of the whole hardware situation. If they're coming out with Generation 5 this early, we were expecting it in 2012, along maybe the DS's successor, but it might actually come out in 2010, if this is true. So the thing is that Maybe the DS's successor isn't going to come out for at least another few years, maybe even beyond 2012. So that would mean that there would be two generations on the DS, which would be a first. So far it's been one generation, one console. But maybe this has been a coincidence more than anything else, because the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance didn't have lifespans nearly as long as the DS. We're already over five years into the DS's lifespan and they're going to release the XL model in North America in uh, a few months, I think. So anyway, they probably learned from the Game Boy Micro debacle and they're probably going to keep the DS's successor for maybe even beyond 2012, as I said. And why not? The DS is still going really, really strong. It's kicking ass and taking names. That, and I can't imagine uh, a new handheld coming out smack in the middle of a generation. So it's go probably going to take another few years. That is, if it's Generation 5. If it's just a spin-off or something like that, all bets are off for that. So I'm going to stop here for now to save this video, but don't worry, I'll be continuing this in the next one, which should come right now!